Over the years, I've been asked quite often what I think uh, defines Penn uh, as a law school, as a community, and as a culture. Um, I've had the good fortune to have worked here now for a third of a century, a little over 33 years. And I've had perspective, I think, develop over those years as to what makes this place tick. Um, and I think the difference really here, uh, what marks us as Penn, is Penn people. When I first came here in 1976, I had the good fortune to meet people, faculty members like Leo Levin, uh, um, Lou Schwartz, uh, who had been here quite a number of years, and then younger faculty like Steve Burbank, uh, Bob Gorman, who were just starting out, Elizabeth Warren, uh, a relatively young faculty who contributed, Regina Austin, who contributed to the faculty substantially. And I was very lucky in getting to know those people and what they thought Penn was. And every one of them, to a person, emphasized the same thing, that Penn really was a good, warm, supportive environment, as supportive an environment, as collegial and community-oriented a place, as family-oriented a place as they have found in their careers any place, anywhere else. And I think our great good fortune has been year after year being able to replicate that community. Our genius, if we have had a genius, uh, is that deans like Colin Diver and particularly Mike Fitz have recognized that as one of the strengths of Penn Law School. Staff has recognized that as one of the strengths. Faculty have recognized that as one of the great strengths. Uh, and we've been able to build strength on strength. Uh, I think the way we do that, in fact, is declaring that, uh, that community, that level of support, that level of, that emphasis on the person to be one of our goals and one of our desires. We hold it out there to applicants, to people looking at the school, to faculty consider teaching here. And those folks make a, there's a self-selection process. Those folks come here and decide that that's the community that they are going, not just to be a part of, but that they're, they're going to build, that they're going to contribute to. We're very, very lucky to see that happen again and again. Now, what do I mean by that, obviously? Um, law schools can be a place where you fight about territory, you fight about your ideas, you fight about your turf. All of that's valuable, it all contributes to education. Knowing what you think in opposition to other people's ideas can help you own your own ideas, strengthen your own ideas. But there's also a lot to be said for listening to what another person has to say, and listening with respect for the individual. Uh, it's so often the case, I think, in, in discussion and disagreement that individuals stake out turf, that becomes their turf, they won't listen or look past it, and that holders of other ideas are somehow bad, wrong, evil, you know, the enemy. I think the great strength about Penn is we do respect classmates, colleagues, people with other points of view, respect them as individuals, disagree with them intellectually, philosophically, on policy grounds, but respect the individual and listen hard. There's a lot to be learned about our own points of view if we listen to what others have to say, and that has been the great strength of this law school. As I'm recording this, the uh, earthquake in Haiti happened about a week ago. Um, the day after the earthquake, a group of us announced a fundraising drive to provide assistance to Haiti. Uh, the day after that, a committee was formed consisting of students from half a dozen or more different student organizations. And working through our public service office, they're coming up with a plan to provide immediate medical support uh, to Haiti, but they're also now starting to work with identifying groups that will need ju not just immediate support, but mid-range and long-term support on medical issues, on housing issues, and on legal issues as Haiti struggles to rebuild not just what has been shattered, but rebuild a lost government and the lives of countless people that have been so badly hurt. So we're using that both as an opportunity to do good for Haiti, but also to give our students in, uh, an opportunity to develop leadership skills and skills at responding to crises uh, on this level. And I think that's a very Penn story.